welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. I'm giving my official and fair and honest review of Batwoman Episode 5. Mine is a long and sad tale. This episode, fair and honesty, folks, without bias, was way better than every other episode that I have seen thus far. You want to know why? Because it didn't have the identity politics in it. It didn't have any political allegory in it. It was just a... Re it was just basically Alice explaining to her sister what happened after the accident. What led her down the proverbial rabbit hole. And I gotta say, the writing... St or objectively, the writing is not good. It subpar in areas, the acting, really not feeling it in certain areas. Now, the script, or writing I already went over, acting went over, score could be touched up a little bit more, the setting was believable. All of that, it was, it's still mediocre. And this is the objective part. It's all still mediocre. I mean, when you blow up a damn propane tank, you're not going to have that sound effect that sounds like a freaking creature coming out of a screaming pit, you know? The... <clears throat> story was interesting basically i wasn't i was paying close attention there isn't as much sjw nonsense in this one as there is in the other shows if they would do this more often if they would actually focus on this kind of thing throughout people would embrace it better people would embrace the story more Subjectively, or objectively, I will give this a 3.5 out of 5. Subjectively, I will give this a 4 out of 5. Because it didn't have the agenda in it. It didn't have the identity politics. It didn't have any of the SJW nonsense. I think that Showgoer will actually put it at 5 out of 5. If you're a fan of Batwoman, or if you're a fan of the Arrowverse, it's compelling. It's showing that <clears throat> Kate's stepmother is getting her comeuppance. But, uh, because she's finally coming clean to everybody that she took part in Beth's disappearance, or at least tried to cover it up. And whatnot. Everybody has turned against her. Oh, excuse me. And I think that this show, if they do more shows like this, or episodes like this, where there's no agenda driven nonsense, this show would be a lot better. But they gotta maintain that kind of course. They got to make sure that they keep on doing that. Otherwise, the show is shit, and it's going to fail. It already is failing for the <clears throat> for many other people like me who call it out. But for me, I'm giving it fair and honest, folks. This episode was the better of the other episodes I have seen thus far. Episodes 1 and... One through four were an exercise in an agenda that was all political and identity political and nonsense. This episode had very little to none of it. And that is why I'm giving it a higher subjective. So yeah, it's a short video. I didn't see much wrong with it except for the objective side. The acting was very bad. 
the the writing was not or it could have been touched up <clears throat> sorry I'm getting a little voice and whatnot might be coming down with something but anyway this episode was a by a far cry insanely better than the show or than the show has shown so far so yeah mine is a long and sad tale infinitely better than the first four episodes because it's showing you that they can do an episode without all the agenda now am i going to say i still like this show batwoman I will say that this show has heart, it still has merit, or it still has potential, it has heart, but I still am not going to put it in the like stage, or in the like category. Do I hate it? I'm not going to put it in that category either. I'm simply going to say it has enough heart and potential to be a great show, it's just they need to make more of their episodes like the fifth episode, without agenda. Anyway, folks, that's the video. That's my fair and honest review for episode five. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, and I'll catch you all on the next one.